today's first project. The airline broke off in the back of the brake chamber here. Uh, we can't put a lot of heat to it here because we don't want to damage the diaphragm. And if we try to drill it or anything, we can put metal inside of here. So we're just going to take it apart. We ordered a new diaphragm from Luke. And uh, once this is off, I can get it hot and get that fitting out, no problem. But I just hurt myself. So we're taking a little bit of a break here. Wrench slipped and I just smoked this finger into a brake drum so it hurts a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a second there and we'll get right back on it. So we had to drill it. And then I ran a uh, tap through it for the pipe thread. Got just a regular air fitting thread in there to test our threads. But it works. We got it fixed, so new diaphragms on the way for this, so we'll throw a new diaphragm in it tomorrow. This can go back together then. So we're starting the process of test fitting all of this. We've got it just sat up in there. We've got the welded, and there's now a plate to go over it to reinforce the trunnion. That is this corner piece. We're going to start test fitting it all in there, make sure that everything fits upright. Check the whole placement from the fab shop. But we should have this engine hanging back in here in a little bit. All right, we got the engine sitting up in place, so we're getting some bolts right now so we can run them through the plate here and kind of check our alignment and all that stuff. So we've got it in place here. We got to do a little bit of alignment over here, but we're in line back there. We're in line with the top. The cone for the end of the engine here is just loosely put in place. Um, we've got the plate on the back side. The mount is in. We've got a couple bolts put it all together. It's all lining up pretty good though. So far looking like it's gonna work. I think it's more progress on getting it all mocked in here. So we've got some bolts through the corner of it. These are going through the chassis as well. So the bar is now tied in. We've got this tied into the bar. These are just sitting loose in here. We've got the other end bolted on. So we're waiting on uh, delivery of some grade 8 bolts and stuff for it. Next up, we're going to start tying into the back bulkhead and up through the floor. All right, Dad thinks he can get us off in two and a half minutes with the drive shaft out. I'm betting not, but let's see. I won't count picking up needle bearings in your two and a half minutes. What's my time, bitch? Minute 43. You did it with needle bearings. <laughs> so, they've got the plate in. They just went and got the plate cut for inside. As you can see by the keys in my hand, it's time for me to head back to Indiana. Almost close the hood on myself. Yeah, this is a board holding stuff. All week I thought I'm going to hit myself with it. That was close. But this is where they're going to end. Well, not where they're going to end. Where I'm going to end for right now. So have fun, guys. Sorry to leave you at the worst part. It sucks to be you guys, I guess. Bye. So there's the river. This is how close we've been all week working on that bus. Four and a half hour drive home. I'm gonna stop and get fuel at some point because we're just.
just below half after that trip out here. But not too bad. You guys can see it out in the trees over there. so far just with car accidents and slowdowns pretty ready to be home decent view out the windshield tonight though so i just stopped off for a little bit got some dinner and i was reading some of your guys's comments over the last couple videos i know dad has addressed this and i feel like i have to as well now a lot of you guys are saying to scrap this the bus isn't worth fixing you know you can't see what we see in it there's not really anything that's wrong with it that's a deal breaker. You know, we have that cracked trunnion that was welded and plated over. You know, it probably would have been just as fine just being welded, but we're going to put a plate over it to carry the load better. We found the brace behind it was broken. It had been attempted to be repaired in the past. If it would have been repaired properly, never would have been a problem, but somebody had just tried to plate over the small section and not do all the work to take it out and fix it as we did. The new one is a fabricated piece, a lot thicker steel. It's steel, not aluminum now. And where we tie into the chassis on both ends, the load's carried across a much greater surface than it was originally. You know, none of that's a deal breaker. I mean, yeah, we're doing all the hubs. It's been sitting for a long time. One of the wheel bearings was dated 1953. You know, if they'd been done sometime in the last 20 or 30 years, we probably wouldn't have had to do them. But the bus has been sitting since the 80s, so... That's, you know, a normal item. All the hoses need to be replaced. It's been sitting forever. That's another, you know, planned expense. It needs tires. Same thing. You know, if this bus had been on the road and driven up until now, we wouldn't have to do near the work we're doing. But that was part of the price and the deal with the buses we knew that had been sitting. You know, the only things right now that weren't stuff that we planned on having go wrong were the broken bottom brace, which a day at the welder to weld up that piece, not a big deal. That trunnion and motor mount day and a half at the fab shop all the new parts are made for it took us about a day to get it out by a day to put it back in not a big deal and then a drive shaft we took the drive shaft out in a few hours took it to a drive shaft shop had a new drive shaft made for it back the next day you know none of that stuff should be a deal breaker on this bus i mean i'd really hate to see what some of you guys would do if you had a bus like this i'd hate to see it go to scrap there aren't many 4101s out there i almost said a 4104 there aren't many 4101s still out there you know, it's a piece of history, and a lot of people, unfortunately, have just thought, oh, it's just an old bus and scrapped it. And that's how you end up, you know, not having any of them left. You know, there's nothing stopping us from getting this bus fixed and back on the road. You know, the biggest thing that we're fighting is a little bit of neglect and the fact that it's been sitting for quite a while. But none of that's, you know, cause or reason to just say scrap it or give up on the project. You know, there's a lot of potential in this bus still. I mean, you guys will just have to wait and see, but, you know, it, it's not like it's just a throwaway item. You know, put a little time, a little bit of money into it, get it back up and going. It'll be a great bus again. 